All right, guys, check this out. It's Antique Night over at Bentley's 1930 Ford Model A sedan. That's sick. Look at the luggage on the back, too. I'm gonna get an old Cadillac. This is another beautiful car. Coupe? Wow. Looks good. Man, all oh, chrome too. This is a very unique to see here tonight. It's a 1957 Dodge D100. I love it, man. I feel like I have not seen any of the Dodge trucks like this. And like a full size, old school. He's got a little uh, that kind of popping out of there. Dual. Nice color, painted inside and out. He's got two little cab lights up there, which is pretty unique. I like the, the tow mirrors. I think they're uh, International Harvester mirrors. Some Cadillac wheels. I mean, yeah, it's very tasteful, very clean truck. So right over here, we have a 1967 Ferrari 275 GTB4 powered by a 300 horsepower V12. This car is pretty crazy to see here. I don't know the production number. There's a little bit of a write-up on the car right here. But regardless, this vintage Ferrari is very beautiful. Check out the black leather interior. Little five-speed gated manual transmission. Just all the little details. The wire wheels are super cool to see on something like this. The old Michelin tires. Get a good look at the back of it for y'all. Just such a gorgeous car to see. It's a pretty unusual pickup. I've never seen one of these before. It's called a Diamond T. I believe it was a 49 when I was looking at the paper. Some sort of etching in the back glass there. Looks like someone went, you know, faintly custom with it. I'd have to imagine with, you know, the pinstriping and really just bringing this truck to life. The bed is really, everything about it is really cool. You got like almost like a factory chop, it seems like, just because the, the roof line is so low. Windshield opens out. Powered by a flathead six. I mean, just a really, really sick looking truck though. Yeah, it's a 49. Check out the diamond T plates on the hood. The hood ornament. Look, you even get some like slight engraving in there. What a, what a absolutely beautiful truck. Hey, check it out. We got Travis's Z32 rolling in. Yo! All right, guys, we got a lot to learn here. We got a 1926, I think it's called Aaron's Fox NS4 fire truck. This thing is phenomenal. There is so much to walk around and see. I'm gonna do it in parts to avoid copyright. But uh, here's some old pictures of this thing. You got the, uh, the old school, I believe it must be like brass nozzle. The custom plates on the truck. But let's walk around this thing. So uh, just a big single wheel back here. You got the lanterns in the back, the wooden ladders, all the hose. Check out the old hose wound up with the brass nozzle over here. All the plating is super cool. All these little details, man. All the old fire equipment is like just so cool, so historic. There is, uh, there's so much to see. Look at the size of the straight six engine. You gotta remember, this is the the, the, the mid twenties. I love, I love it all. All of it is just so cool. The big spotlight up there. The wheel is massive. So here's a full look at the fire engine. You gotta remember this thing is 98 years old. Look at the pump setup up here. I love the chrome ball. I mean, it just looks unique. It looks really cool. Just checking everything out. All the, all the, all the accents, all the, all the plates. Everything stamped. It looks like you got some brass on the engine. I mean, it is just very cool. Pictures are pretty cool too. A couple of pictures of uh, one of these in action. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty fantastic to see. It's two other really cool pictures, all in black and white, obviously. But uh, check out that just in the firehouse. Just such a cool, cool truck. So right over here, we got a 1930 Chevy panel van. And this thing is so cool. I love how boxy it is. You got the vinyl top. Looks to be like it's possibly metal all the way back. Very cool to see the full fendered car. Look how thin these doors are. Such a sick thing to see here. Check this out, a nice little shoebox Ford parking up. And we got this uh, supercharged, I believe it's an Auburn rolling in. Yes, it is. It's a super cool car to see. Two-tone, you got the wire wheels down there. Wow, that is cool. Nice like speed tail style. What a beautiful 
Oldsmobile Cutlass we have over here. I love the stripes. I love the white and the gold two-tone. The gold in the wheels is really, really sick, too. This car looks brand new. It looks like it's got, like, no miles on it. it says it's a, an official pace car for the 58th annual Indianapolis 500-mile race, May 26, 1974. So I'd have to imagine this car is probably about a 74 because it'd be like a brand new car at the time. Something pretty cool. I was looking at the lines in this car. Look at the body lines come up through the door, into the fender, out to the rear quarter. Pretty interesting. It's got a white vinyl top. I was checking it out inside. You've got white interior too. I mean, it's very clean spec. Just trying to see the mileage. It actually says 96,000 on there. So it's it's been driven. I didn't know if it'd be real low miles just given how, like, look how insanely clean it is. Like all the all the wheel wells, it just looks so good. But always, uh, always like seeing these old uh, Oldsmobiles. They just look so unique. They look good. Okay, so we are gonna we're gonna sit in the '97 Lotus Elise. The door sill is huge for sure. So just kind of fall in. Ooh. Roll up windows, everything. Well, there actually, there is a ton of leg room in here. Like, it is it is very long. This is pretty sweet. Man, you got your radio here, your controls here, and the Lotus. Man, this is, uh, this is really pretty. All right, now uh, the next struggle is getting out. So this is the handle here. And uh, it's a big, 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 big lip to get over. I gotta lift myself up with uh, both hands. So this is quite a machine we got here today. We have a 1971 Fiat Dino 2400. Now what makes this cool is this is powered by the Ferrari Dino V6. So it's cool seeing it in a Fiat, essentially. You can see the little horns down there. It's hard to, hard to see, but they're little brass horns, it looks like. But what a clean, what a clean engine. And in the Ferrari Dino, the V6, it's transverse. So kind of neat seeing it facing uh, just the opposite way. But uh, it is also, like I said, the Roadster, it's convertible. Got some back seats. This car is extremely clean, manual transmission. And just a, just a really unique car to see all around. But check that out, it even uses the, you know, the Dino badging, just like you see on the Ferrari Dino. Got this pretty crazy Audi Quattro over here. I love this style. Probably. Mid 80s is what I'd have to figure. Look at the headrests in there. All the uh, interior is pretty unique. Little tri spoke wheel, manual transmission. Oh, uh, you can see down there, it looks like you can change it from rear wheel drive to four wheel drive, possibly. That is interesting. That is very interesting. It looks like there's a knob in there to change from four to two wheel drive, but this is the rear of the car. Beautiful color. It's an Audi 90 Quattro. Dude, look at that. Dude, even in the. Uh, Defrost, this is like the defrost setup. It just spells out Quattro. What a dope car. And it's a, you know, it's a sedan instead of like a hatch. It's just cool. Okay, so this is our 1990 Mercedes 300E. And uh, I have been looking into these as time goes on. And I've started to really, really enjoy the other models. And somebody just pulled in with this gorgeous Mercedes 500 SL. I almost said 300. It's a 500 SL, so it's powered by a V8. This one I think is a little bit newer. I, I could be wrong. Uh, if I were to guess, maybe mid 90s ish. But you still get the headlight wipers. I just wanted to walk around a completely different car by Mercedes, but still of that era. These wheels are huge to swap onto the 300E. But check this out. Just all the all the cool little differences. It is a convertible, just a sportier car all in all. You got your seatbelts that come right out of the seats. Some pretty cool uh, taillights back here. It's just a pretty car. I wonder if you got a clip of it. Check this thing out. This is such a beautiful car. Ooh, that thing sounds beautiful. 55 Chevy Gasser. This thing in action. That is awesome. <laughs> That's sick. What a cool ride. 
Well, all right, everybody. Looks like I'm going to finish up the video here. Thanks for checking out this little collage of some Tuesday night Bentley's car shows. And if you want to see some more car content in the future, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching and peace out.